Listeners, just the what, listeners. What comes first, the goodbye or the egg? <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of the egg, hey. oh, that's funny. <laughs> Boy, am I gonna lay one? <laughs> fucking three hundred people in the audience, fucking Albany cunts. <laughs> Not, you're not going to sell tickets calling them cunts, How Jimmy? about this, you upstate shit dicks? <laughs> show up at my show so I don't look like a fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm trying to look like I'm doing well. <laughs> you fucking state capital zeros. That's a plug. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly, it's a plug. Buy your egg tickets, faggots. Boy, I'm coming to town. They're running to the box office as we speak, Jimmy. Or go to Ticketmaster, you fucking broke zeros. You got nothing better to do in your <laughs> shitty city. Fucking Albany stinks. Jimmy, what? You're gonna be there tomorrow night? No, I'm not. Who's opening? Friday night. Who's oh, opening for you? Uh, I don't know. It might be Marina. I don't. I, I use different people. It might be Marina Franklin. Yeah. Whoever it is. Marina's very funny. Whoever yeah. it is, it's gonna be a good show. Doesn't sound like it. You're yelling. At, you're yelling at the people. Ah, fucking what are a thousand people gonna run out if I like, nice to them? <laughs> it couldn't be any worse. <laughs> fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> you might get a few if you're nice, though. Yeah, I'm sure they're terrific. Probably enjoying some <laughs> Canadian comedians. <laughs> fucking assholes. I hate Albany. I really I hope I get there and the egg is on fire. They're all fucking burning in it. <laughs> You're hoping for a fried egg? Exactly. Yeah. Or I get a chance to fucking just go home. Like, yeah, well, let's just take the tickets. If that, hap <laughs> if that happens, I'm going to use that as my excuse in the future for the first floor of the hotel situation. Yeah, there was a fire in the egg. I was. Uh, <laughs> I did that Norton show where there was a fire at the egg, so I got to stay on the first <laughs> right. floor. Oh, and I love the fucking egg. I'd love to roll up to the egg and Kenny would go, you know, there's only a few hundred tickets sold. <laughs> <laughs> he really is the uh, worst. He's fucking, yeah, well, get he that does. smirk off your dumb face. He has no clue how to make you feel good, and his whole job is to try to make us feel good. He's awful. He just comes up with, he just doesn't have any, any class. I hope I pull up to the fucking egg, and as he's telling me that, there's an explosion, and the fucking egg just blows up. Right. That would make me very happy. Dude, you just reminded me. So Kenny picks me up this morning, and uh, uh, I had planned a, a weekend away. Kind of a special weekend away at a place that's really tough to get to. So I had to uh, do this in advance for two or three months. And because of some stuff that's going on with Ant and I, uh, we had to cancel this weekend, okay? And which I was bummed out at. Right. I'm losing my deposit. It's, you know, whatever. And I really just wanted to go away. So I've been going back and forth with Kenny. So I tell him that, uh, good news, Kenny, I, we could go away after all because the thing Ant and I have to do has been pushed uh, a few weeks down the road. So I tell Kenny this this morning at 5, excited. I've been awake 20 minutes. He goes, you know it's going to start snowing in a few hours. <laughs> it's a I don't know if you're going to make it up constantly. there. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited. No, I, I doubt this, it. I'm excited that this thing is actually going to happen, and he turns it into, you know, it's going to snow. Yeah. You better prepare for a lot of snow, GH. And it'll start, like, I hate when he starts, uh... He'll start fucking bad-mouthing somebody else, like the club owner. Well, you know, the club owner should be paying you. <laughs> right. But you know, people who are that negative, people who are that negative, like, all the time, because I have some relatives like that, you yeah. know that at some point he's going to break down and be like, I fucking love you guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, he means well, he'll Mike. have a yeah, moment yeah. where you're like, oh, he actually meant well all the time that yeah, he was being a douchebag. He yeah. does mean well, but he's, he's too stupid to realize, so yeah. he'll just... Yeah. He, he loves giving people bad news. Like, he was a cop, and we just know he was the guy that was like, could I please go to the next to Kin's house? <laughs> yeah. Like, three in the morning, yeah. there's just, he's got teenager blood all over him. And he's just like, Tom, sorry. Yeah. You're never going to see him again. Do you recognize this hat? And it's a fucking hat with <laughs> blood and matted hair in it. <laughs> that's my son. <laughs> well, that's all that's left of him. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, but I got it. It's my job. Exactly. I'm sorry to tell you, yet this smile wouldn't indicate that I'm sorry. I figured you'd want to bury the hat at least. <laughs> That's all that was left. As you can In see, the fire. As you can see by my bloody clothes, I held him until he died. Oh, he's oh, the thanks, Kenny. fucking worst. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking gloom but, and doom, but Kenny. The, but the bit is he really thinks he... He means well. But yeah. if there's three, if there's right. three guys Thanks, who do pitch perfect impersonations of him, you must be <laughs> right. oh, there's so much practice. Yeah. <laughs> He's always saying something stupid or insensitive. Oh yes, yeah, just the fucking the grim reaper. <laughs> but I couldn't wait to share the news. It's a dumb thing that I could go away after all, yeah. and right away. Well, it's gonna snow, you know.
<laughs> yeah, he's just awful. <laughs> it's not even. Well, that's kind of cool. I, you know, I know you want to get out. Yeah, out not like, hey, you leave early tomorrow so you can beat <laughs> right? the weather. It just, it doesn't tell me how much or when, just that it's going to, it could possibly be bad yeah. for your uh, nice little getaway. What he should just do is tell the truth. I hope it snows tomorrow <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so you're stuck here so you can spend an hour feeling like I feel all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking, Kenny is a fucking, you know what he is? He's, a, he's fucking leukemia personified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> personification of fucking bone marrow cancer, just trotting around talking. Kenny? Yeah, was it bad one time, allegedly, I might have went on a sick call, and the guy died in his sleep, and they wanted me to go in there and, like, do CPR and save him? Yeah. And, like, I just took one look at him, and, you know, he was cold and stiff, and I came out, and, and the whole family was out on the porch, and they go, well, how is he? And I just crossed his name off the mailbox. Was that bad? Oh, my God. They were the worst. <laughs> they probably thought Kenny was in there, and they're thinking, oh, there's a chance he might yeah. save him. And Kenny's just looking, going, oh, this guy's a goner. He's, <laughs> just, oh, yeah. he's so clever with how he told us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there, was, there was Mr. and Mrs. on the mailbox, and I just crossed out the Yes, mister. we get it, Kenny. Uh, yeah, we understood. We didn't think you screwed Scratch the whole thing out. We figured. Uh, yeah. And you know, I wanted to get a second laugh. Okay, well, how about going for a first one? <laughs> the fucking, the, the, and here's the thing about Kenny. They probably, like, he, he must be in there giving our, our dad CPR. And meanwhile, he's on his cell phone with his foot on the cadaver. <laughs> well, Andrew has to get a suite or he's not doing the game. <laughs> <laughs> he used to be Dice's road manager. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. In between going to dead bodies <laughs> with his foot on the <laughs> Yeah, propping himself up, tying his awful shoe. Fucking <laughs> on the cadaver. Uh, Hoffman from Whackbag. Opie, did you just say uh, Jimmy's going to be there tomorrow? Tomorrow night, and he responded, "No, I'm going to be there Friday night." I know I fucked up. All right, I sorry. I'm blocking out the egg like it's a fucking, like it's an uncle fingering incident. <laughs> all right, Kenny, you all right? Yeah, I'm going to my karate class to beat some people up. You, uh, you get Jimmy's message about what on your uh, phone from earlier? Oh yeah, why am I alive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that. But believe me, it's going to be a beautiful show at the egg. And, G.H., you're going to have a wonderful weekend. Let me explain. The There's no way to sell that. What Kenny does, he can't help but be a negative. Yeah. And then he realizes, well, I'm being a little negative, so he tries to throw a little sunshine on it. Yeah. But then it's too much. You know, Jim, I hear the governor's going to come see you. <laughs> Kenny, you know what? You don't have to overdo it. Kenny's voice is like uh, when blind people have those machines where you type in the words, and then that's the voice. <laughs> that pops out. <laughs> I would like some eggs. Yeah, the Stephen Hawking. Yeah. There's just no, Robot no voice. emotion to him. He tries, Whoa. though. Yeah. Right, Kenny? Uh, you guys had another great show. I'm going to let you go so you can wrap it up. <laughs> Thank right. you. Thank you. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Fuck I yeah. bet you whenever he hangs up, he's trying to be good-natured. I bet he just bites his steering wheel or he does something really violent. Pulls out his pistol and just looks at it. <laughs> fucking creep. You're a creep. Are you listening right now? You're a fucking creep with a tan interior in your truck. You fucking lady. Why does he have a tan interior? Because he's a fucking lady. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I'm playing this new bit with him. Like, uh, we all know, like, if you, if you hand Kenny something, especially if he has to drive, uh, he started this with directions. Let's say there's your directions to the gig, right? Show Mike really fast. He's upset. He's OCD. So he has to hold it. Like, if there's 40 <laughs> directions, if it says take the turnpike to exit one in Maryland and you've just left the Lincoln Tunnel, he'll keep his finger on that next piece. It's like, hey, fuckhead, we have five hours. Mike, you, are, you think you have problems. I'm serious. He does this. And then he'll just slowly just move it down to the next uh, direction oh, and funny. hold it there until that is complete all the way through 40 fucking steps. And his eyesight stinks. He refuses to go for an eye exam. Hey, fucking... <laughs> Tan interior, go for an eye exam because he's the worst. You can't drive. I'm almost like not going to drive with him anymore because literally at night, well, let's go to that rest area. And he slows down. I'm like, it's a mile and a half, you fuck. <laughs> oh, it's hard to see. It's foggy. No, it's not. You have clear cataracts. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's going to go there. Oh, you beat me to it. But anyway, with that, I, I got a new bit. Like, he's, he's doing a lot of stuff for us. So, like, things need to be mailed or bills and stuff, whatever. So now I'm just handing him a pile of shit in the morning, like, take care of this. And he refuses to put it in the back seat. He is driving and holding this stuff at the same time because for some reason he can't 
put it down. I don't get that He's one. He's afraid he'll forget. Uh. He'll afraid something will fall into the seat and get lost. <laughs> He's just this weird, who knows why he does what he does. He has a tiny head. I don't know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a tiny uh, dinosaur head. He's the head of a leaf eater. <laughs> right. He, he really is. He's a fucking leaf eater. <laughs> He cuts his hair short. We're like, oh no! Now you look like a pinhead. You gotta grow it to make it look like you got more brain than you really do. Exactly, balance it out a little <laughs> bit. How did he end up working for Dice? Um, they <laughs> met, I think, in the gym or whatever. And Dice liked him and kept wanting him to work for him because he was a cop. He's an intimidating guy. Yeah, well, that's why. Yeah, 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 I met him at the Leary thing that we did yeah. in Boston. Oh yeah, yeah. Where yeah. I was just like, this is really yeah, you need, scary. I mean, what need a guy what like kind that. of situations are you in? Well, you, you never know, you know, and he's yeah. armed and he's a fucking martial artist. Kenny's a problem. I'll he tell really you why. Is. He, uh, oh, God, why do I have to be Greg Hughes, the actor that plays Opie on the opening? Oh, Nancy here show? he is. But, but I will. This is Greg Hughes. <laughs> uh, he's amazing at his job, Mike. Yep. Yeah. His job is to bring misery and unhappiness, <laughs> and he's fucking amazing at it. <laughs> the interior's tan. That's an uplifting color. <laughs> How about mental institution green? Were they out of that? <laughs> the black? You couldn't get the black interior? Could you make Could you make it so whenever it rains, they look like tears? <laughs> he doesn't understand what, what colors could do to a, uh, for oh, a person. He refuses to beep his shitty fucking horn. <laughs> oh, that is the worst. His OCD. He's only got 500 beeps in the thing, and he, and he always keeps the windshield wipers. Until you literally can't see four. Hey scumbag, <laughs> we driving, we driving underwater, or you'll be in a chiseler with the fucking windshield wipers. <laughs> you shouldn't be. It's no, fucking, he's, it's like I've never to Sea World. Yeah, he's amazing. I've never driven with him. Dude, he doesn't beep his horn. No, never. dude, you never. gotta drive with Kenny because he could kill ninety nine point nine nine percent of the people that are <laughs> on the roads. And he lets everyone just abuse the shit out of him. They cut him off. Little, oh, tiny, God. little old ladies are cutting him oh, off. And, and he doesn't fucking beep. He's like, oh, look at this. And I'm like, look what at this. What am I going to do? Yeah, well, well, what am I Yeah. How about beeping? He doesn't beep in the case of emergencies. He's awful. And I hate the way he's saving the electricity in his car. But it literally <laughs> will be like, fuck? you have to actually lean over and go, how about fucking hitting the uh, switch so we can look out in front of us and see if anything has stopped? <laughs> I fucking hate your chiseling <laughs> with the fucking windshield wiper distribution. Just turn it on. He doesn't. He doesn't want to use it. Is it the electricity or the wiper blades? Whatever. Stop of. saving everything. <laughs> when, he, when he dies, I hope they put him in a coffin with two fresh wiper blades and a fucking unused horn, <laughs> like a pharaoh. <laughs> and, en and enough with I your. I could use these in the afterlife. Exactly. And enough with your fucking invoices. Just round it off. And how about, and how about he, he sends invoices every month because he buys like breakfast and stuff, and you're like uh, seventy five cents for a cup of coffee, uh, the eighty seven <laughs> cents for a yogurt. I mean, just the dumbest shit. He's like Scientology. He just buries you in paperwork. <laughs> right. He's kind of charging me for the same month eight times. Yeah. And I paid for bananas like five yeah. times. I just can't look anymore. The details ridiculous. And his fucking obsessive emails. How about one at the end of the day? Yeah. Just sum it up. <laughs> right. Right. Huh. A single band aid for G H. Twenty-two cents. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's get him out of our lives. <laughs> all right, we were fucking babbling at this point. Yeah, Mike's got to go. That's um, great. All right, uh, Mike, man, it was good having you in finally. Thanks, man. <laughs> Wait, we we're we're riffing on Kenny though. We could do another four minutes. <laughs> I know I got pissed badly. Yeah, see, that's how this these bits end because Jimmy's bladder is too small. I have to whiz. I really <laughs> could have done small I think we could have done four or five more. We're rolling in. Maybe we Jimmy. will. Me and, me and you, a little chemistry there was nice. I was, was loving it. Yeah. Just shitting on Kenny. You know that when I met <laughs> Kenny, it was backstage at the Dennis Leary event in Boston. Yeah. Well, I, I think he was in the hotel room. I was walking around going, jump. It's okay. <laughs> and I, uh, I go, uh, I go uh, hey, I'm Mike. I, I didn't know who he was. You know, we're sitting, sitting backstage. I go, hey, Mike. He goes, all right. <laughs> the, the, no, the no return name <laughs> no, situation. Yeah, awful. yeah he's... Uh... Damn. He should just return. He's in karate right now, taking it out on some fucking oh, he's all <laughs> belt, some yellow belt. But he's intimidating, man. I mean, he's a lot like a Bond character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. He, he's God, all business. It, I know. It's Mr. Dumbbell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dry Hair. <laughs> Mr. Straw. That's what he does to people. He pulls out a clump and throws it in their eyes yeah. and then punches him in the face. He's, he's got the sand. driest hair. He, he doesn't understand... Uh, conditioner. I yeah. think maybe he's trying to save money on conditioner. He probably has it all figured out. If he never uses conditioner, he'll fucking save 
a hundred twenty dollars. His chronic in his lifetime. His chronic fucking <laughs> chiseling. His his terror of losing everything is fucking making me sick to my core. I'm not saying you splurge on a Porsche, but how about an iPod? He's fucking awful. It's like he turns himself off. He's like C three PO. He just fucking sits in a plane and fucking zones out. It's amazing how he does that. You are so right. I forgot about the flying thing. We've taken long flights, Mike. Six, seven fucking hours. And we're like preoccupied with books, iPods, fucking DVDs. And he just sits there and stares straight ahead for six straight he hours. Shuts, counts fucking, shuts himself off. Counts threads on the seat in front of him. That's the idea of fun. Like, Will you get an iPod, dude? It's like fucking, I'm not saying it's, it's not that expensive. Oh, it's, the songs cost money. Fucking so sleeps with his mouth wide open. It's horrendous. Agape. Oh. oh my god, we could go on forever with this guy. He's no. uh, amazing. You're yeah. right with the C three PO shit or whatever. I'm gonna power down now, G H. Okay. <laughs> okay. He does we don't know what he does for fun. We have no idea. He doesn't do anything for fun. We know he does karate and he works out. Does he have a girlfriend or a boy? He's married with uh, grown sons. Yeah. He's got two boys, one's fifteen, one's in the military. Mm hmm. So that's the Jeffrey and Douglas? Yeah. Mm hmm. But uh as far as you know, he's just having fun. Yeah. What do you do for fun ever? Oh, and his dog had to get an operation. We had to hear that for weeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Dog's okay. Yeah, it's going to be all right, Kenny. He stopped listening. No, He's not he, listening. No, he, no. He, he loves this. The, the, the radio takes power. They're talking about I mean, me. I bet if it fucking snows, he'll be outside. Okay, I've allotted 45 pieces of rock salt to the garage. <laughs> <laughs> One... <laughs> Two, his fucking energy distribution with those wiper blades, it makes me physically ill. <laughs> How about just once? He's afraid they'll actually do an unnecessary dry wipe. That would be a waste. He only does shooker. He never gets the shooker, shooker, shooker stage. It's always just shooker. <laughs> How about two of those in a row? For fucking once. <laughs> the five minute wait in between each one. Oh man. Okay, get I gotta get your train. Driving yeah. underwater. Hey, thanks Great a lot, job. man. Great job.